Cinderace has returned in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now if you played Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive singles, you most likely know how good Cinderace was in competitive singles. On Pokemon Showdown, it was deemed too overwhelming for the overuse tier, which is the main tier of Pokemon Showdown, and thus got banned to the Uber tier, which is pretty much the tier for legendaries and overpowered stuff. Back in Sword and Shield, Cinderace was so good because of its great offensive stats, amazing and powerful move pool, and its absurd ability, Libero, which changes the user's type depending on the move it uses. So on every move, you would get a power boost of 1.5 times, aka the stab boost, since you are the same type. However, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Libero has been nerfed. It now only works once per switch in. So, for example, if you were to use a fighting move, you will turn into a fighting type, but you will stay a fighting type until you switch out and reset the ability. This is a big nerf compared to the previous generations, since you could change typings without this limitation. With this big nerf and the recent power creep in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I am certain that Cinderace will not be the beast it once was and it will probably find a place in the overuse tier and will not get banned to Ubers. This brings me to the point of this video, because I think Cinderace will shake up the meta quite a bit with its presence. So in this video I will explain why I think this is the case. Before I forget though, if you like this type of content or are new to the channel, consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss future videos like this one. With that being said, let's get into this. So yeah, I'm on Pokemon Showdown right now, got three Cinderace sets I want to go over, then I'm going to explain how it fares against the current meta. So first we got a Choice Band set, uh, you know, we got Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, U-Turn, Sucker Punch, Pyro Ball of course is uh, one of Cinderace's signature moves. It's a physical fire type move, 120 base power with a 90% accuracy. It's a very good physical fire move because uh, there is no drawback. It doesn't make contact, which is a big deal for physical attackers. And it doesn't like drop your stats or something. Yeah, you miss, you can miss, but that's the only thing. That's the only thing, uh, the only bad side about this move. Like for example, Flare Blitz, uh, you can take recoil or you, you make contact, you get Rocky Helmet chip, but Pyroball doesn't have that, which makes it a great physical move. And of course, we've got High Jump Kick, uh, great fighting, fighting move. Of course, that 10% to miss can be a pain in the ass because, you know, you lose 50% of your health. But it's still a very powerful move nonetheless. Very good coverage too. We've got U-Turn for momentum, of course, and Sucker Punch to, for, for priority and catch faster Pokemon. Yeah, this is a very good choice man set because, you know, uh, you... With Libero only works, but Libero only works once on switching. So the first move you use, you're gonna be that type. So when you're locked in, you 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 don't really lose anything of the Libero. It it doesn't really matter that you can't change sides, because you, because you can't change moves anyways. So yeah, that's what Choice meant, of course. Cinderace is weak to Stealth Rock, so you have to be careful of that. Now second set, I have this Sword Stance set. Yeah, so Cinderace gets Swords Dance in this generation. So when you use Swords Dance, of course, and not, not a choice man, you can go with the Heavy Duty Boots to avoid all hazard damage. Uh, the only downside about this set is if you do use Libero, when you use Swords Dance as your first move, you turn into a normal type, which means you do lose all potential stab moves. So you don't even have the, uh, the stab fire move anymore, which means none of your moves are stab. That is really a trade-off you have to make. The thing is, Cinderace doesn't really have that high of a base attack compared to other Pokemon in the meta. It's only 116. You know, it it, it looked more powerful back in Sword and Shield because you had the stab boost in every move. But in this gen, it's different. So yeah, if you use Sword Stance as your first move, you will only have that. You will turn into a normal time and use all your stab. So yeah, that's the trade-off you have to make when using a Sword Stance set. Now, last set, I think this is going to be the best set for this meta on Cinderace, and that is a Heavy Duty Boots Core Change set. Kind of like a, yeah, a pivot, a offensive pivot set. So, Cinderace another, has another great signature move, Core Change. So, if you don't know what this move does, this basically swaps 
yeah, it literally says right there, swaps users field effects with opposing sides. Now, this includes hazards and screens. I don't know if it, I, I, it doesn't include substitute. I, I know that for a fact. I don't know if there's anything I'm missing, but those are like the big, the big things. Hazards and screens. So you can see where I'm going with this. This hazard heavy meta, very hazard heavy meta. But a lot of um, hazard setters in this, in this meta. A lot of good hazard setters, and it's very difficult to remove hazards. You know, we got Goldango, of course, because of Goldango, you can't remove those hazards. Goodless Gold blocks Defog, and its Gold Typing blocks Rapid Spin. However, with Cinderace, you can avoid all hazards on your side, bring this guy in, core chains, and now your opponent gets all the hazards they just set up. And it does bypass Goldango's uh, ability because you don't actually use it on the opponent because you, you use it on yourself. So you can bypass Goldango as uh, good as gold, which is a big deal. Because, like I just said, the Goldango blocks all, blocks all form of hazard removal, except of course for mouse hold. But you know, mouse hold, mouse hold. So that is why I think this is this is the sole reason I think Cinderace will be a very good Pokemon in this meta because you can core change the hazards to your opponent. Besides that it matches up very well against Goldango because you know it's a fire type and Goldango is a steel type. So yeah, when you have a lot of great hazard setters, especially suicide hazard setters like Glamora, people use Garchomp as a suicide lead as well. You got Ting Lu who also has Stealth Rock and Spikes. There's a lot of stuff that has Stealth Rock and Spike so yeah, and the same thing goes for light screen and reflect. Grimmsnarl is a very good uh, screen setter in this meta. So uh, when you can just, you know, get rid of the screens <laughs> with the Cinderace, or you know, don't even get rid of them, you give them to your side. That's a very big deal. Like I said, it goes through Godango, and the only way to remove screens is with Defog, which Godango can block. So you can just take this, the opponent's screens and give them to yourself. That's a very big deal. I think this is going to be a very, very meta-changing um, move. Because, yeah, like I just said, very hazard-heavy meta. We didn't really have anything reliable to remove hazards because of stupid Goldengo. So yeah, that is why I think Cinderace will be a will be change the meta quite a bit. You know, of course, we have to see how it goes. But yeah, that's my opinion. I don't think it's going to be banned. So yeah. One thing to, ke change, to keep in mind though is um, Cinderace is a pure fire type. So if you use fire uh, Fireball as your first move, you don't use the liberal ability because you're already a fire type. So for example, if you go for Fireball and go for U-turn after, you change, you still change to a bug type. Which say, you know, it's, a, it's a nice thing. So yeah, that's really everything I got on Cinderace. Uh, let me know what you think. Will Cinderace change the meta? Will it not change the meta? It's gonna be bad, it's gonna be banned. My opinion, I already said it. I think it's gonna be very good in this meta. And I think it will be in the OU tier. I don't think it's gonna be Ubers. Don't think it's gonna be UU. I, I think OU is where it's gonna be at. Yeah, uh, with that being said, thank you for watching. And see you next time.